We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. So digging in now, G-Man Choi, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The 2-1 home is in there for the second strike. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. There to play it is Gritchick, and that's the first out. Up next for the Rays, Brandon Lau, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Another 1 2 delivery. Fouled away. The 1 2. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. At the plate now, Joey Wendell. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Pitch on the way. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Under this one is Gritchick, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. 3-2 pitch. Ball four. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Hunter Renfro. His past history with Hunjin Ryu, just three for 14. He's also gone down on strikes five times. The 1-1 home is a fastball that misses. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Runner goes for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time as he steals second. Three and one. Here it is. And this pitch misses here as well. Back to back walks now, but at least that'll put the force back in order here. The shortstop, Willie Adama. in the right a base hit Meadows rounds third and is digging for the plate and he's safe at the plate as it's now a two nothing ball game into the box now Kevin Kiermeyer two and one fouled off Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. And he fouls this one off. Renfro at second. Adamas on at first with two down. Hit hard on the ground is short. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. The left and well. Stepping in now, Manuel Margot. One and two. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Ryu is there now as he makes the catch, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. 
In now, Kevin Biggio. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2 1 home is a slider that backs up for a ball. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And an offline throw, but boy, look at him stretch out and keep the foot on the bag. Great concentration there for the first out. Stepping in for the Jays, Randall Gritchick. Bases are empty, one man. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Hit sharply on the ground. And there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the left-handed hitter, Travis Shaw. A one one. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. If the offense didn't already know, Man on the mound's got his A-game fastball working today. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Second inning set to go. And next to hit is the catcher, Kevin Smith. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So it's a good start to the inning for the Rays as their leadoff hitter is aboard. Now batting the first baseman, G-Man Choi. So now to the plate, G-Man Choi. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Now batting. Riding in once again, Brandon Lau. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Now batting. Joey Wendell digs in now. Runner in scoring position with two gone. A 1 1. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The 1 1. Hit in the air to right field. Meadows has it, and there's one away. Next to bat for Toronto, Rowdy Tellers. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One out, nobody on. Hit hard up the middle. Adamas brings it in, and there's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and the switch hitter Jonathan VR will be the next to bat. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Austin Meadows. He drew a walk his first time up. A 1 1 is laid off for ball two sitting in a good spot right here two ball one strike count is yet to see a fastball have to be sitting on one right here all even now two and two pitch on the way and a change up swung on and missed for the first out so the bases are empty with one man gone and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro a ball and two strikes here's the pitch Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. So two are gone here in the Tampa Bay third inning. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two.
And it's fouled away. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. Bottom of the third now. And standing in the outfielder, Lourdes Guriel. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. At the plate, Jonathan Davis. Number 49. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 2 2. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Danny Jansen waits on deck. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. The next three, two. Again, he sends it out of play. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine-pitch at-bat. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in Danny Jansen. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. A bouncer up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. set for the start of the fourth and that'll bring up the outfielder Kevin Kiermeyer. and it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermeyer now tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two a full count to the Rays center fielder Manuel Margo will be next. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Another payoff pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. And that'll bring up Manuel Margo. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Margo. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Guriel will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now Kevin Smith will be Kevin. next. One Kevin. for one after a single this first time up. The 1-1 one -one home. Line but speared on a hop over to VR. Relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired. Standing in, Kevin Biggio. He set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Here's Randall Gritchick. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 3-2 pitch. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. 
Now at the plate, the Travis Shaw. He was six. a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And he misses again, ball three. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. becomes out number two this inning. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Fouled away. The 2-2. And he popped him up. And no one will track it down. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning. And next to bat will be the first baseman, G-Man Choi. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now at the plate, Brandon Lau. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Biggio backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Digging in once again, Joey Wendell. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Fouled off. Hit out towards second. And that's through for this first base hit in this one. Up to Tampa Bay, the right fielder. At the plate, Austin Meadows lifted the other way down the left field line. And they can't run it down. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Jonathan VR. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Woo, not a spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Meadows has it, and there's one away. 
So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck to third. And that's the second out. At the plate, Jonathan Davis. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. The one two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit back up the middle. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Sean Reed Foley takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. For the Blue Jays, number 54. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And stepping in the long ball threat, Hunter Renfro. The 1-1. One, one. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. And it's fouled away. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Another 2-2 offering. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Full count still. Here comes the payoff pitch. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. No chance to make the play. Let's just hope he's okay on the mound. Standing in now, Kevin Kiermeyer. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Just a bit low, tough call, but it's two and two. From the belt, the pitch. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Digging in, Manuel Margo. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Richard is there, two gone. So stepping in, Kevin Smith. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. The 3-1. Line drive to left. And this is down for extra bases, and with two out, this might get them both home. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Now 
the first baseman. G-Man Choi. To the plate now. G-Man Choi. Line hard. But foul. One and two. It is. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Into the box now. Danny Jansen. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 2 1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here now the 2 2. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Kevin Biggio. He was a ground out victim last time up. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty one man out. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Randall Gritcher is on deck. Swing and a miss on the changeup and there are two gone. Randall Gritchick at the plate now. An attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one, two, three, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Margo's under it, and the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll and standing in is the power hitting second baseman Brandon Lau. A little too tall that time three and one now. Joey Wendell is on deck. Right side hit hard reined in and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Ready for another shot now. Joey Wendell is working on a one for three thus far. The 2-1 home. Austin Meadows waits on deck. The 3-1 taken strike two. One out nobody on. Fouled away. Grounded to first. He's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Stepping into the box. Austin Meadows. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Two out. Nobody on. Popped him up. Guerrero is there. And that's the third out. Ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the traditional Japanese Last half of the seventh here and set to go is the third baseman Travis Shaw. We're moving right along into this one as we head into the late innings. Listen if you want to score you got to have to bunch some hits together and they haven't been able to do that so far. So hopefully this leadoff guy this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the now hit back. column. The first so one away now in the Four Toronto days. seventh. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Aaron Luke takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Now pitching for the Braves, number 15, Aaron. In now, Rowdy Tellers. Swing and a liner. A 
leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. The batter, Stepping in now, Jonathan VR. This is foul right side. Lou has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third, so they're loaded now with only now one away. The left fielder, Mortis Guriel. Into the box now, Mortis Guriel fouled off. The one two gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. John Curtis takes the mound now and it appears he's being brought in to face the right handed batter who waits next. Yeah you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often but that's kind of how they're using him here Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness so we'll see if this move pans out. And he comes back to get him so a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. The one two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And the Rays strike quickly here in the inning. It's a leadoff double. A.J. Cole is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. A double. At the plate, Willie Adamas. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Runner at second, one away. And that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. In the dirt here. And over to third now is the runner. A man at third with one away. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate. Oh, just a sec. What a play. And that's an incredible effort to get the second out of the inning. So a runner at third. Two men are out. And that'll bring up the versatile center fielder, Manuel Margot. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Kevin Smith would be next. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. And the runner from third crosses the plate. That makes it a 4 0 ball game. Up next for Tampa Bay. Into the box, the Kevin Smith. Kevin. And he fouls this one yeah. off. A runner on first with two away. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. This is skied into short left center. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Ready once again, Danny Jansen. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Full count, 3 and 2. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Half the plate now, Kevin Biggio, and it's two balls and a strike to the Jays' leadoff batter. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Adi pops it up. Wendell calls for it. One out. Oh. 
Stepping in, Rendell Gritcher. Over two with a walk for him so far. Hit to third. Scooped up. While the throw pulls him off the bag. And he's safe. Striding into the box, Travis Shaw. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here now the 2 2. Runners are at first and second with one away. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Diego Castillo trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and that brings up the corner infielder, G-Man Choi. 3-1 is swung on and missed and that's a full count now three balls and two strikes he was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one so so now we've got a battle on our hands and that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases and he'll pull into second here with nobody out now that, number eight to the plate now, Brandon Lau. A ball and two strikes now. A swing and a liner to left center field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. Now a long throw home. And not in time as the run scores. Now back. Standing in now, Joey Wendell. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Austin Meadows. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the stretch. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Digging in and looking for more. Hunter Renfro. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm and right, so despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Thomas Hatch takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Into the box now, Willie Adamas. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. On the ground up the middle and a diving effort but this will just tip off his glove and that's a base hit. So now to the plate Kevin Kiermeyer. This is lined into the gap in left center and he's going to come through here with extra bases. It's cut off so all three runners are in to score. Now that the left fielder, Manuel Margot. At the plate, Manuel Margot popped him up. Biggio there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Ball 
ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And the switch hitter Jonathan VR will be the next to bat. The 3 1. Now a little pop up here right in front of the plate. Smith has a play, makes the play one away. Coming to the plate now, Lourdes Guriel. Now the one and one pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him swinging in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down. Stepping in, Jonathan Davis. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up just a hit. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Now batting. Number nine. At the plate now, Danny Jansen. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Still two and two. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. Stepping in now, Kevin Biggio. And he lays off again, ball three. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Peter Fairbanks will make an appearance here as he is in charge of trying to ring up the final out of the ball game. Rendell Gritcher will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. An 8 nothing shutout this evening. The Rays jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Blake Snell is credited with the win. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays. Eight runs on 14 hits. One error. They left 10 men on base. For the Blue Jays, no runs. Six hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base.